hello everyone and welcome back to my channel it is your girl jasmine destine if you're new here if you're returning hey girl hey what's up what's good what's goody we are back with a new weekly vlog video it's actually tuesday happy tuesday yesterday i really like i could have vlogged because i did so much but because i did so much I just didn't find the time to pick up my camera, but Monday was a very productive day, but we are starting this weekly vlog off on Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Um, if I sound a little stuffy, it's because my allergies have just been like kicking my butt this morning. Like literally, I have been nonstop sneezing and I just have like a stuffy congested nose, but not because of I'm sick. Like I don't, it's not like, you know, the difference between like allergy boogies and then like sick boogies. I'm not sick. I was sick like two weeks ago, but we're good now. And I feel like this is just allergies. Like my nose just feels irritated. Um, I did my nails yesterday. The shadow, I'm not really a fan of right now, but like I did my nails yesterday and I did brown. Who am I? Who is she? I feel like this is so out of the norm for me. I feel like they look like little chocolate chips or like little chocolate brownies they're cute i don't know how long i'm gonna like this color on my nails but i wanted to try something kind of fall well this is fall i wanted to give something fall for my nails so i want to try something fall and these are all of my nails um i just have builder gel over them clear builder gel um as far as today i'm gonna go to the gym I got invited to the Pretty Little Thing showroom on Melrose to pick out some pieces because I got invited to an event with Pretty Little Thing later this week, which I'm excited about. Um, so I'm going to probably go do that. But yeah, and then later on today, me and Danae are supposed to hang out. So I'm excited about that because I haven't seen her in a couple of months. We're both very busy individuals. I feel like she's even more busy than me and I feel like I'm a really busy person. So we always try to like touch base every couple of months. I have a feel like she might end up coming over here just cause she has a cat and her cat is so cute. His name is Kazi, but I am allergic to cats. Like definitely allergic. Not definitely, but it's pretty bad. Like unless I take like a Benadryl, which will then make me drowsy. And I don't think I should do that if I'm going to be drinking wine. Um, that's like the only way that I'll be okay. So I posted a weekly vlog yesterday that you guys are loving. Actually, the last weekly vlog. Um, so I'm excited about that because that means I'm going to make another one just as cool, just as fun. <laughs> Hopefully this week is filled with stuff, jam-packed with things. I feel like it's going to be because it's the week before thanksgiving and i feel like a lot of stuff is happening this week i don't know like brown nails on me is it giving i don't know okay let's go to the gym you guys i finished getting ready um i tried to put on like a pretty little thing fit i got i got on one thing for pretty little thing <laughs> that's why i'm going to the showroom to get more clothes yeah um but let me show you my outfit because i think it's super cute this skims top i'm wearing my skims nipple bra uh skims top skims raw my six pack no i'm kidding it's not a six pack my little my little abs poking you know that's a part of the thing <laughs> it's a part of the thing um this skirt is from pretty little thing i got this more recently and i actually love it i'm kind of obsessed yeah this little skirt i got my yeezy sneakers and my same old same old crop denim jacket from forever 21 and then this bag is from sora denim bag i did really light makeup i already called my uber i'm waiting to get connected to a driver oh i was connected five minutes it's a tesla oh my god i swear to god i literally feel like no this is on purpose at this point i feel like whenever i'm running late to go somewhere or it's like an important thing that I'm going to. I get a Tesla as my Uber and I'm like, if you follow me on Twitter, then you've seen me like rant about this before, but like I hate Teslas. Like I really have like, I thought years ago, like maybe like two or three years ago, before I even moved to Cali, I thought that I wanted a Tesla. But then I actually, I drove one once as a rental and I've ridden in the back of Teslas like multiple times now. And 
I literally hate the way that they drive. I feel like they're very jerky, like they don't drive smooth at all. Because of that, I hate it because every single time I ride in the back of a Tesla, I get nauseous. I literally want to throw up. Like, and of course, when I it's whenever I'm on my way to an, like an event or I'm running late for something that's important, like a dinner or whatever, I get a Tesla. And then, you know, obviously I let the driver know like, oh, by the way, like I'm not. And it's sometimes I don't even say anything. It's just the way that they drive. Like I'm just, if Tesla has one hater, it's me. If they have no haters, I'm dead. Like I literally hate Teslas. I can't. Uh, and of course I got a Tesla. It's gonna be here in three minutes. I think I'm gonna pick out some sunglasses. I did this makeup in 12 minutes. And my hair is in the same ponytail it's been in for the last three days, yeah. I'm literally, I'm about to throw up. <laughs> Hi. Bree? So pretty. Okay, so we're getting dressed for like a fun little dinner vibe. She said I can pick out three things. That's a jumpsuit. This looks like it might be... Mm. She also just said to let her know like what I plan on wearing to the event later on this week so that someone else doesn't wear the same thing. And I think that's really cute actually. Oh, look at these leather pants. Okay, so I picked out this silver dress it's like a little sequence number but she just told me somebody else is wearing this so can't wear it not at least not to the event but if i like it enough i could still take it this is a size six us six um it definitely fits i'm not i haven't taken off my bra because i'm just being lazy But it's kind of an E, I'm not gonna lie. But I don't know, like I didn't really see anything that I was like, oh my gosh, I love this. This is cute though. Okay, so we've got more selections. She's pulled some stuff from the back just for me because I told her I don't really like what's out. And she said, I've got you babes. And she pulled out these two little numbers. So I'm gonna try them on. And then she's also gonna pull something from Lori Harvey, Lori Harvey's collection. So we're gonna see. Okay, this is cute. It's a little metallic moment. It's like a blue, but it looks a little, what a, it looks gray on camera, I think. But I like it. So booty popping. A little. I actually would take this even if I don't wear it for the event I could see this being in my closet wait why do I love this one though the cow neck I obviously wouldn't wear it with my bra showing in the back I would probably do like boob tape and like together this way but like she goes to the ankle don't mind my socks and I feel like the booty's popping too <laughs> I actually like this one a lot it's a little metallic metallic vibe and it kind of matches my earrings my hair up Wait, cause why is this so freaking cute? This is the gold dress from Lori Harvey's collection. And it's a size four, you guys. She was like, we don't have a size six, but we have four and eight. And she brought both of them. And I thought I was gonna have to squeeze my little butt into the four, but it actually went up real easy. <laughs> and it's so cute. I, I kind of need to wear this. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. But look at how it looks on camera. It looks so good. And then I can wear my gold Dolce & Gabbana heels, my gold D&G heels, some gold jewelry. I'm just gonna go all full out gold. 
This is so cute. Thank you, Bree. You're welcome. <laughs> Just left the Pretty Little Things showroom. I got three really cute outfits. I already picked out what I'm gonna wear on Thursday. And the other two, I actually have a birthday dinner slash event thing on Saturday. So I'm probably gonna wear one of the other outfits on Saturday. It's just gonna be getting. And now I think I'm gonna get Earth because I haven't eaten since before the gym. And then I went to the gym, obviously. And I didn't even have a protein shake when I was done. So I'm legit starving. Starving Marvin. So I'm just gonna get something small and quick. Are they even still open? Restoration Hardware is right over here. And like one of my dream dates is to go there. I've been to the one in New York. And it's just so freaking gorgeous and beautiful. And the one in LA seems just as nice. Yeah, I just got to Earth. I'm about to order myself some food. I ordered my food. I got a quesadilla with chicken on it. And that's it. And then they have water with fruit in it. It was like a fruit infused water. So I just got that because truthfully, I don't need to be drinking anything else. I already had oh, two coffees today. Camera eats before I do. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken quesadilla. You know, it's real simple, chill. You get a little bean, a little tomato. What is this? Um, salsa, avocado, and sour cream. Oh my god, I look literally like I've been blowing my nose for ten hours because I have. But I'm in Ralph's and I'm about to get Oreos. I don't think I told the vlog yet, but I'm gonna be. Danae is a picky eater. I'm not getting the big pack. She's a, yeah, there's, there's only a little bit of us, two of us. Anyway, she's a picky eater, but she said she likes, I was like, do you want to make cookies? She was like, I do, but the only kind of cookie I like is Oreos. I just can't make Oreos. So then I was like, hmm. And then I was like, ooh, what if we made fried Oreos? I don't even like fried stuff like that. My allergies, jeez. Okay. I'm sorry, I just got so distracted. I look crazy. Anyway, I don't even like fried stuff, but I like fried Oreos. So, yeah, and they're on sale, $4.39. They got the mint ones, but I know she don't like that. <laughs> I know she don't like that. Today's here. Looking up, gorgeous as ever, look at her. She bought the powdered sugar. We got the Oreos. We got the Oreos. Oh, we finna do some makeshift. I mean, they're gonna come out bomb. And then she also brought wine and it's sparkling. Oh, we got the Hennessy. It's a <laughs> strawberry and raspberry. That actually sounds so good. Girl, what if it explodes? Cause you wanted to shake it. She wanna play. Wait. <laughs> Trader Joe's. I'm like, this looks good. Oh yeah, this is from Trader Joe's. I'm like, where do I recognize this from? Does it say it on there and I just didn't read? No, I don't think so. Girl, it smells good. Yeah, it smells really good. This low key, I feel like could make a good mimosa. Cheers. What's it give him? That's good. It's not too sweet. It's not like, as sweet as I thought it would be. It's the way I forgot to vlog me frying these. But I literally just finished frying them. There's the oil. There's the pancake mix. Oh, that's what they came out like. This one a little burnt. We haven't tried them yet, but I'm about to try it right now. This wine got me feeling fine. No, I actually don't think I feel anything. The wine is pretty good. I feel like I feel a slight buzz only because I ate just that quesadilla today. Okay, on a scale from one to ten, how was the case to be? It was actually, it was like a seven. Mm -hmm. I went to um to Earth. It was simple, you know that white people food. They don't be like seasoning it really. Oh, you like bought a quesadilla? Yeah, I didn't make okay. it. Okay, if I made it, it would have been a ten chef. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. We're trying this. 
Oh my gosh. I don't know how it's gonna taste, so. Ready? This one. Okay. Cheers! Okay, you made this before. Does it taste right? And you could be a harsh judge. I, I think, think it's I, good. I think I over fried it. Mine is a little crispy. I think it's pretty good. I think that the pumpkin has a different like layer to it. Yeah. And it's pretty good. I usually don't like pumpkin. When I saw it, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna let her try it. Really? This so I was like, you like the mix, like the pancake mix, this should be some. I feel like it's good to me though, for real. I feel like that mix is not that pumpkin-y. That's why I like I got it thinking because you know I like the seasonal stuff. Mm-hmm from Trader Joe's and I got it and I was like, oh, this is about to be hit, like hit. But then I tried it and it was like barely any pumpkin. I was like, this is just getting re giving regular. Mm -hmm. So I've had it for like it's a little like minute. It's like a little hint of pumpkin. Yeah, it's like a hint. So that's why I was like, you probably won't taste it. It's pretty good though. You know what would be really good with this? Something to dip it into? The what? icing? Mm -hmm. From Auntie Anne's. That would actually be so good. This I is probably... Well, I think it's good. I would tell you. Yeah. You would tell me if you didn't like it. I probably is a, she's a picky eater. So like, I think I already told the vlog. I was like, Danae only likes Oreos. So we're frying Oreos. <laughs> 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 but I was like, listen, honestly, I be wanting to do little stuff like this. Where was like Jasmine? Don't buy nothing for me, please. No, you like, you like sugar cookies? <laughs> <laughs> like, you want to make cookies? Mm. All right, do your English accent. Oh my God, wait. you do so good. Wait, wait, wait. Um, I need to think of something to say. <laughs> you know how I got really good um, watching Love Island. Do you watch Love Island? Oh God, I'm obsessed. Mm -mm. Literally, let me like, Sammy, you keep mugging me off, and I just find it really rude, like. Mm -hmm. I love you and I and I want to be with you, mm -hmm. but you just keep mugging me off for Jessica. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, but it's like a really posh, like, white girl British accent. So mm -hmm. when I do it, sometimes you'll be like, you sound like a white British girl. You don't sound like a black girl. And I'm like, mm -hmm. or or what do you like? Do you watch anime? Mm -mm. Neither do Probably I. Not. I don't watch it either. I honestly am probably more into movies because mm. I'm all about like the cinematography and stuff. And people put Me way more too. work into like the movies and so. I love cinematography. I love. I feel like that's the main thing that I pay attention to when I'm watching something. Like I'm looking at the shots. We need literally to have a cine cinematography cinematography breakdown session. Yeah. Like we should like pick, pick a movie. Yeah, we should pick our favorite like cinematography like uh what focus or a driven movie mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm. i i did 30 days of halloween so i really? watched a movie every single day i wanted up to until halloween i wanted to do that like not every day but i wanted to watch only halloween movies in mm -hmm. october which i did but i didn't watch that many i watched get out and i watched um the other one us this is us mm -hmm. us yeah us. with the tethered people i didn't watch us though i watched i watched nightmare before christmas Corpse Bride. Like I saw some like of course lighter. Yeah, movies. yeah. I watched Monsters House. Oh my gosh. Okay, love Monsters House. Oh, yeah. These the darker ones are gonna taste crazy. <laughs> but I feel like I'm just tasting burnt, burnt pancake. You know when you overcook a pancake? <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, we should do, okay, wait, we should definitely do a movie night then. I'm happy that you like scary movies though. I don't have a lot of friends that like scary movies. Yeah, I like scary movies. Like, I'm gonna scream though. I'm gonna be like, ah, you know? That's okay. I'm gonna have like a pillow and I'm gonna be squeezing it. Thank you so much for this. Aw. Two reasons. One, for making this. Two, I genuinely saw the pumpkins like, <laughs> just wraps. <laughs> Oh my and god. This was good. She was blown. She saw that. She was just like, oh. I'm like, there's no way I can say something. I just have to try it. She was like the um the, the Arthur. The Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> she was like oh. Yo. <laughs> I was. Oh. I'm like, it's so far. I'm actually screaming. This well, was good though. It was good. I'm gonna take some home.
It's the way. I have a meeting right now. It's not like a meeting where I have to talk or anything. It's like a webinar also, I think. But I legit almost forgot. One and two. I look crazy. So my camera will definitely be off. Join with Google Meet. It literally just started. Well, it's starting right now. I was early. Hi, everyone. Just waiting for Danielle to pop in and then we'll kick off. We're obviously bumming it today. Like, clearly, it's giving bummy day. Also, while we're waiting, just in the beginning, if you guys just want to pop in, like, your name, Instagram handle, your niche, then when we're doing, and your experience with affiliate, then when we're doing examples and different things, we can make sure to try and address as many. So I'm running a couple minutes late here, but I always love to, to give people that first five minutes to funnel in so it's not awkward. Um, but what we'll do is go ahead and kick off with the deck um, and get started. Give me one second as I share my screen. I'll talk to you guys after my meeting. Okay. Guess who's about to film? Why is it so dark? I feel like I haven't spoken to you guys all day, but honestly, I didn't really do much today aside from like work on my computer. Um, I had two separate meetings and they were pretty lengthy, um, but I didn't really do anything. And it's also been raining all day outside, which is like so random. I didn't even know it was supposed to rain this week. Like I know the temperature is getting a little colder and it's like fall and you know, daylight saving. So like the sun literally sets at five o'clock um and then it's pitch black outside by 5 45 but i didn't know it was supposed to rain so like it's literally been pouring outside all day so when it rains i don't even go to the gym and it's it, that's kind of bad to say but like i walk to the gym and i don't like walking in the rain and i as silly as this sounds like don't crucify me but like i literally don't own an umbrella <laughs> I literally don't like I swear to you I don't even have an umbrella so every time it rains I just put on an extra large hoodie and I put the hoodie on and I pull the strings real tight and then I'll just like quickly like if I have to go to the supermarket or like anything that's like within three block radius of my apartment I'm okay I literally just finished filming a TikTok on this hairstyle I did this really cute um three part half up half down situation with my clip-ins I'm just, I'm getting to the point where like, I want to put heat on my hair, but then random shit like it raining, or the fact that I work out four to five days out of the week, it just doesn't make sense for me to try and straighten my hair because I know I'm going to sweat it out. Like, it doesn't matter how much heat protectant, whatever I put in my hair, like I feel like I always sweat my, and Benson's trying to play with me, that's what that noise is. But like, I feel like I always just sweat out my silk press, so it doesn't even make sense for real. But I want to straighten my hair so bad because I want to straighten it and I want to give myself a little trim. But I also want to see like how long it looks because it's, it's honestly giving length while it's curly. So I know with it pressed out, it's going to be given inches and I'm trying to see the inches, you know, but I also I'm like, I literally work out too often. It doesn't make sense. Like I would have to take a whole week off just so I could salvage my, my silk press for like four days so with all of that being said i'm trying to be more creative with my hair because i'm getting bored i'm getting bored of the slick back buns i'm getting bored of the little braided ponies i'm getting bored of the slick back ponies i'm getting bored with my wash and go i'm getting bored <laughs> i'm bored i saw this girl she did like a half up half down um style with some wefts they weren't clip-ins but they were wefts and she like bobby pinned them around buns so like i did something like i did and it looks good from the back too like it don't even look bad <laughs> i'm not gonna lie though this is all my hair on the top like this ponytail that's my hair this ponytail is my hair and this ponytail is my hair but all the hair on the bottom and like the actual like fullness of it is the clip in but yeah i just filmed the hair tutorial for this so now i want to do my makeup because my hair is done a super cute hairstyle i like to go on pinterest or on instagram but i have more makeup inspo saved on pinterest like my pinterest boards are a vibe i saved my nail inspo i saved my outfit inspo 
I've been saving fragrance combinations as of recent, which I really want to like try and get into like more. But like literally my Pinterest is for me. Like I feel like I could literally care less about people following me on there or anything like that. Like I literally just do it for me. Like that is where I go for inspo. Pinterest will always be that girl. You know what I also love about a half half down? You get the slick backness of a slick back pony like you get your hair off of your face so like your face is exposed but you also get the inches because your hair is out in the back it's like fun it's like a little two for one so i want to do something that like really plays up my eyes Ooh, this is really pretty she's really pretty girl look at this look at that so cute yeah my, my camera's gonna die but i'm about to film this um tiki talk of my makeup or maybe it'll be a reel actually and then the hair will be on tiktok oh this is pretty i could do this too ah! i mean i feel like i outdo myself every time she outdoes herself every single time look at the beat can we get into it and i recorded it so yeah, if you're not following me on TikTok, girl, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing, literally? Because this look is going to go up on TikTok. The hair and the makeup. Literally all of it. I have two PR packages, and I was going to try and hold off on opening them until tomorrow morning. But honestly, I want to open them up right now. But I want to open them up right now. Because I don't even know what they are. I've just been getting put on new PR all week what's this what's this what's this it's a box within a box what is this another perfume oh wait I don't know why they sent it like this shut the brick oh! oh my gosh I used to have this I had the rollerball of this. I remember I had the rollerball of this years ago and I dropped it. I think I was in the subway because I had it like I kept it on me because it was a rollerball, obviously. I dropped it and it was like practically full and it broke and I never bought it back. But it was this exact scent Victor Flower Bomb by Victor Rolf. So let's see if, I, if it brings back memories. You know when you smell things? And it like literally makes you think of a specific memory. Ah, oh, this smells so good. This is such a fruity, like floral fragrance, but it smells sweet. It smells like a very sweet flower. This is so, oh my gosh. And I'm literally planning to do a fragrance video where like I talk about all my favorite fragrances because I just got a nice little collection. And now I get to add that one to it, and I used to have it. That's like a full circle moment, because like I remember I couldn't afford the bottle, so I got the rollerball. And I was like, I think I was in high school. And now I'm getting it sent in PR. Ooh, and then the other one is some Kiehl's. We love Kiehl's, okay? I love skincare that's like very like clean and not a lot of um, ingredients. I don't know if they're considered a clean skincare brand. I feel like they are though. But it's just like very straight to the point. That's that's the kind of skincare I like. Like really hydrating stuff, um, not too many ingredients. They sent the Richly Hydrating Hand Care Trio. I actually need this because I wash my hands probably like 30 times throughout the day like between if i touch benson i wash my hands if i touch like if i go outside of my apartment like go in the elevator or anything when as soon as i come back inside i wash my hands i obviously wash my hands after every time i use the bathroom and i frequent the bathroom because i drink a lot of water so like i feel like my hands have just been extra dry lately so that's actually so good that they sent this hand care trio and then they sent the facial cleanser and i haven't tried this i've tried the facial moisturizer which i absolutely love oh there is a face cream in here too so this is also a, a kit so i'm guessing this is like holiday stuff because it's obviously giving christmas that was fun i always like 
opening PR because I literally never know what I'm gonna get. So I'm still really stuffy, if you can't tell. Um, I'm not gonna do much else. Literally, like I said, I'm about to wash this off, unfortunately. But I got all my content, so it's okay. But yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, vloggy vlog. Happy Thursday. It is Thursday. The little the little puppy baby wants to say good morning. Good morning. Papa say good morning. Good morning. I woke up at like seven and started my day. Yesterday when I was filming, literally like my phone kept telling me I had no storage. And I was like, that doesn't make any sense. I have 256 gigs on this phone and I don't even have a lot of stuff on my phone. Like I'm honestly a very simple person like i use the same probably like the same 10 apps i do take a lot of photos and videos but everything is on the cloud and i pay for icloud storage so i'm like trying to figure out why i have no space on my phone and then i went and i looked at my iphone storage and it was like literally like 200 gigs of space from cap cut and i didn't even realize that like when you use cap cut they save like copies of all your files like somewhere within the app so like literally like every single video that i've ever edited was like saved a version of it was saved in the catch i think that's how you pronounce it so i had to clear that that took a little minute and now i'm updating my phone that's probably gonna take like another hour i probably should have waited to update because i need to edit a video to post on tiktok but yeah i have to edit some videos from yesterday i have another video i need to edit and submit to a brand um and then i'm gonna go to the gym and i put on this workout set that i've had for like a little minute now you guys have seen this if you follow me on instagram when i first got it and i just want to say like i keep i know i keep bringing up the fact that i lost weight but like it makes such a difference in your clothes and the way that they fit you because the first time i tried this on like i honestly did not feel even feel comfortable wearing it to go to the gym because i just felt like it wasn't flattering even though like it's really cute and like i wanted to feel cute in it but you know when you work out you gotta feel cute you have to feel secure you have to feel because like you don't want like a titty popping out or anything like that so like i was just a little hesitant so i actually never worn this to the gym but then i was like you know what i'm feeling cute today i'm feeling slim i'm feeling like a little slim thing <laughs> let me put it on and it actually looks so good i'm about to show you when i first tried this on i really like the sports bra because i feel like it just super supportive but then you get the little peekaboo and i like that you know rihanna she's a very sexy lady so i feel like everything she does is gonna give like sexy sophisticated but it also like makes sense like the functionality of things does make sense um but I'm just, I feel really good in this right now. And the color, you guys know how I feel about pink. Like the color is eating zone. The, the color is there. It's just so cute. Like this is actually like such a cute little workout set. It's from Savage X Fenty. And then it has like the line down the back. And this one has like a really thick waistband here. Like the waistband is like, thick and it compresses it has like compression material so my hair i still i slept all my clippings in i wasn't taking them out literally i was like it took me too long yesterday to put them in happy thursday i made myself an iced chai this is the spiced chai concentrate from trader joe's and i just put some in my glass and then i fill with ice and then i pour milk on top well oat milk yeah like i'm legit obsessed this is way better than any starbucks chai i'm sorry and i've been saying that like even before the whole them supporting israel and all of that stuff hashtag free palestine but like even before that i was saying that it's way better than trader i mean way better than starbucks and it's literally like 3.99 i think for the bottle so every time i go i have to get it i actually did want to talk about um i feel like i've talked about what's going on in palestine um on all of my other platforms like i've definitely been talking about it on twitter and reposting stuff on twitter as well as instagram on my stories um and then also on tiktok too 
but I feel like I haven't talked to you guys on YouTube and I know I have followers all over the world and it's it's not just going on in Palestine but that was obviously like the really like major kind of thing that happened on October 7th with like all of that stuff if you guys don't know then you definitely need to go and educate yourself because at this point how do you not know if you're on social media you should know but if you don't definitely go and educate yourself on what's going on and happening in Palestine but it's free Palestine till it's backwards okay give them people them their land back one and then also free Sudan and free Congo my my heart honestly breaks for like all of the just injustice and the cruelty that goes on in the world and I feel like I, f I be feeling bad y'all I be feeling bad like I sit here and I'm like dang like there are people in the other in other parts of the world that like are born into situations lives that like they obviously didn't ask for and like have all of these like really harsh and just inevitable things that happen to them and it's really sad to think about I'm praying for everybody like I honestly I just be talking to God and I just hope that we can find peace at some point in the world with everybody I feel like we're all human we're all people we all deserve to be here we all deserve to live happy lives and long lives and praying for everybody I'm going to get some work done try to just like continue my day I do have an event later so we're gonna be getting ready together for that I love you guys and yeah, I hope you're enjoying this vlog so far. There's so much more to come. My sister's literally going to be here tomorrow. I'm so excited. Um, I feel like we obviously see each other every couple of months. I don't know. Like this year, we've really gotten a lot closer. She's like one of the people that I call up if I'm like going through something or if I'm really stressed out or if, if I'm just like needing someone to talk to she be giving me tea i'll be giving her tea and i feel like we've just gotten really close like as sisters and that's big for us because growing up i feel like because we're so close in age like we're only three years apart we bickered and we fought so much like we we me and my sisters be tooth and nail like especially because like we literally lived on top of each other like i don't know she wanted to be in my stuff i didn't want her to be in my stuff like she wanted to follow me everywhere but then also was like i don't know like we just we just did not we were just like this our whole childhood and then now that we're both adults i feel like we can appreciate each other for who we are in life and like who we are to each other and also like who we are in our family like and it's just it's beautiful it's great so um, I feel like I've been talking for way too long, so I'm gonna go. You guys, I just got back from the gym. I'm so sweaty. I'm about to shower and get ready. I'm also making a TikTok. It's gonna be like a get ready with me style TikTok. I'm not even keeping my hair like this. I literally had it in for one day. I wanna do a bun. I don't want hair. Taking out your clippings just feels like so good. It's like taking off your bra. I'm doing my makeup. I need to do my skincare. Um, showered, washed my hair, did my hair. Slick back bun. Need to get in the vibes. Who told you bye bondo dance? I need to stop because I'm I'm literally running like ah! I'm literally obsessed with this Lancome um, concealer and using it as a cream contour. This has been my jam. It starts in 15 minutes. <laughs> you guys, I finished getting ready. And eat, I know, I know. Ah! Dress pretty little thing. Jacket pretty little thing. Macy's. Oh, my bag is pretty little thing. We did a no lash look. The makeup is eating down though. So good, so good. Okay, see you guys there. Ew, the spit is crazy. To 
a moxie. I was like, girl, I'll just walk up because the traffic to get in, ridiculous. I'm so hungry. <gasps> Look at my outfit. <laughs> yeah. I was afraid that the boots were like not gonna go, but I feel like it actually goes. And then the jacket obviously ties it all together. Let me pick the girls up. I'm vlogging. Ooh. He said to the right. Thank you. kind of dangerous. Ah! <laughs> We're heading to dinner. Oh my god, wait, are they gonna cook in front of us? So cute. Aww. Wait, it's me walking in and finding my name instantly. Her. Okay, so we're at dinner. Everyone's still walking in. Oh, my lip looks good. Worst out menu. Okay. I ordered a lychee martini. And my nail just chips. I'm so mad. Oh my god. That's a little palate cleanser. It is. Right. It's in a hand. Jeffries? Everything's gonna be a dry yeah. Yeah, that's good. It's cute, right? Yeah. It's on the water in Malibu. It's like really pretty. Okay. That was interesting. It was very creamy. It's giving like an avocado kind of vibe. Black sesame tofu. So excited to see. I've never been here before. Yeah. Thank you. I'm scared. So good. Come on, chef. Oh, on my first day. <laughs> yes, light. I love it. <laughs> I know. It's all about the lighting and the angles. Yeah. Oh, Still getting their content, even though we're in a blackout. Like, oh, that was great. 
literally the lights went out in the whole building and they're like trying to do backup generators but everyone's still getting their content <laughs> content queens Huh? What do you want? <laughs> Hi, Stinky. Hi, Papa. Papa, sit. Sit. No. Sit. Oh, who are you talking back to? Yeah, that's what I thought. Don't try that. Don't, don't, don't try out because I'm recording. You want to show off for the camera. What is up, you guys? I literally haven't spoken to you all day. Happy Friday. Um, and that's mainly because literally today I was just editing videos back to back. I edited two tiktok videos but they were like lengthy ones like both of them one of them was 10 minutes and i got it down to seven minutes and then the other one was ended up being like two minutes long i took the day to edit those videos and then i was doing some emailing and then i was like you know what i was literally this is close to ordering wingstop because i i was on tiktok and i scrolled past lotto trying the new mango habanero wings mango something i think that's the flavor i don't know maple maple habanero i don't know something i've been wanting wings but then when i saw that they had a new flavor i was like "Ooh, that will bust right now but then i was like no you literally have groceries in the fridge like i literally bought stuff to make chili so i was like you know what i'm just gonna make it because one it always comes out bomb it's such a like a good hearty high protein meal and i was a responsible adult and i didn't order uber eats like make some noise y'all what the fuck ah! i'm a low-key waiting for it to like cool down because i literally just finished making it so and when i was taste testing it to make sure that like you know it tasted right it was freaking it was so hot and i'm so impatient that i'm gonna burn my tongue that's so good i put a little bit you guys didn't see but i put a little bit of brown sugar in it right at the end to cut the acidity because there is a lot of like tomato in it so it's like sweet and spicy and meaty 
and then it also has like the salsa vibe because the the chopped tomatoes i used had green chilies in them too oh my god that is so good now i just need to put a movie on on netflix eat this and i'm out like a light so i'll talk to you guys tomorrow good morning vloggy vlog happy saturday it is saturday um i literally spent the i like woke up at seven something this morning and i spent the whole morning cleaning my apartment because my sister comes today i thought her flight was early but it's actually pretty late she's gonna land around like 9 p.m i don't know how much we're gonna do because she has plans and i have plans <laughs> but we're gonna do stuff tomorrow and obviously for the rest of the week that she's here but yeah i spent the whole morning cleaning like i literally like cleaned because you know when your family comes you want to make sure the spot is clean my place is super clean which i'm really happy about um aside from that little pile of sheets that i need to wash but i like changed out my comforter and my bedspread and all of that stuff and i just put everything like new and clean and i washed my whole couch like i took off all of the covers from like all of the little cushions and the pillows and stuff and i washed those dry them and then put them back on the couch so my couch literally smells so clean which i love <laughs> um vacuumed and cleaned the kitchen and then cleaned up the bathroom because i cleaned the bathroom a couple of days ago so i kind of just had to like touch up you know but yeah other than that like i got all my work done let me go to the gym it's leg day and i'm actually gonna be trying out so i saw this girl she posted a TikTok and she was like, I'm trying out Megan Thee Stallion's workout routine because I don't know what she's training for, but sis is training for something. So like, I need to get to it. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to try her workout routine. I went and I watched the video and honestly, like all the workouts she's done, she does, I do them already. Um, and it's perfect because today's leg day and it's a lower body leg day workout with like a quad focus and like a glute focus I'm gonna do that and I think I'm gonna record it I'm gonna bring my little tripod for my phone and I'm gonna record it for TikTok so I can post to TikTok So yeah, I'm trying out Megan Thee Stallion's workout routine Let's see what the booty is giving now and then we'll check back in after my workout It's lower body day I have on this little two-piece workout set Oh Okay, I mean, the booty is, the booty is booty. Yeah, headphones, handy dandy tripod. I absolutely love this because like, it's so compact. I'll see you guys after the jam. What's up, honey? So we're going to be doing back to style. It's a leg day workout. I literally can't talk like her like she speaks so fast i don't know how she does it but yeah we gonna be doing her lower body workout for her quads and her glutes i don't know what she's training for but now i'm training for it too so come on let's go okay so she does these b stance rdls first i absolutely love these i feel like they really target my glutes and i feel it in my hams um and then she does sumo squats and i'm doing with a 75 pound dumbbell you want to lean back when you do those and then we're doing elevated goblet squats no weight body weights these feel like a super burn in my quads like crazy a little glute check um and then the last are these hip thrusts single leg no weight um these felt really good i did four sets of 10 and yeah the booty pump was just there like honestly i didn't think that it would have been popping the way that it was but the glutes look good you guys happy sunday look who's here come my sister's here <laughs> hi guys oh my gosh look at her hair it looks so good thank you we are about to go run some errands in downtown la and get food mm -hmm. and you guys are gonna come with us it is sunday happy sunday happy sunday it's the last day of this week's weekly vlog but i'm gonna be vlogging next week too so you guys can look forward to many more things with nadia i'm gonna be here all week <laughs> Oh, we should make a TikTok. We should. Okay. I don't have any in mind, but I'll find the sound. Okay, in my twin, we be vibing. Yeah, so we about to go outside. We're at my favorite place ever, and I got sesame noodles. This is the popcorn chicken. 
Nadia's still waiting on our food. But we've literally been here for like two and a half minutes and our food already, my food already came out. Me and Nadia were just saying like, we're both foodies and it's because of our mom. Like, literally from as young as I can remember, she would try to take us to like a new restaurant that she heard of or like found out about or someone recommended to her, she saw somewhere. Yeah, we were her two little besties. She would just take us to like places and make us try things. I remember the first time she took me to, take, to try sushi, I hated it. And then, and now sushi is probably one of my favorite like meals of all time. Like my favorite places to go for dinner is like I love fine dining sushi. Like, remember when Dad did that? Yes, it was literally like that. Then I was like, like you pick the meats that you want. They bring out the raw meat. She's like Nadia, I can't do this. I was just like Triana, relax. <laughs> The whole time I'm cooking and complaining exactly the way dad was, just in a woman. And she's an Aries, so just times 10 complaining. I was like, just wait. We go to make the sauces. I tell her, I'm like, put everything in here. Cause she did hot pot and I did Korean barbecue. So she put all her meats in and like her seafood. I was like, get some rice, put your meat or whatever you just cooked and then add your sauce and then eat it all together. I changed her life. Now she loves Korean barbecue. We just went again on Monday with our other two friends. I was just like, see how you just have to, like, I would not steer you wrong. Like, I would never tell you to try something that I don't think is good. Because I have immaculate taste in food. Like, not to my own horn, but... That's exactly how I feel about, like, food that I cook for someone. Like, I've never... Only picky eaters I've come across are like past like guys I've dated and I'm just like no you don't understand like I know we just met and you're learning me still but like just to believe I only eat amazingly tasteful things like I have the best taste like I only eat good stuff I promise you I'm not eating nothing that is like I really think that comes from <laughs> I really think that comes from mommy like mommy's side of the family like no no was a chef I don't I literally Bobby yeah I literally and we just tried, we just had for kids, like we tried different things like all the time too, you know? We weren't, we weren't like, we didn't grow up like eating like McDonald's and like, um, or even just like simple shit like chicken nuggets and fingers and french fries. And if we did it, it wasn't all the time. I was gonna say, mommy didn't culture Yeah. Yeah. That and art too. No, literally. Maybe not even Airbnb, but just like start my own vlog. 
where it's like I have a map, yeah, and like you could just click on different spots on the map, or like put in the search engine like Asian food, and then I got mad, mad vlogs yeah. about different Asian spots I went to. Yeah, and like different cities and stuff. Yes, yeah, so yeah. exactly. I was do like uh, not even like a vlogging sort of thing, but just sell like almost a list of my favorite restaurants. Mm -hmm. like, because people always ask me like, what do you yeah. recommend? What, what's good? Like, you eat at a lot of good places. And I feel like... And get good drinks at a lot of good places. I restaurants. They stop their menu. It's giving Keith Lee. <laughs> the marketing. We got it. Let's rate it 1 through 10. Let's, we got it. Let's try it and rate it 1 through 10. Uh, come on. They'd be like, I went to Pine and Crane with my family. The wait was 30 seconds for our first plate of food to come back. Yeah. And they have a lot of really good things on the menu. Like, this is not even a quarter of it. Me and Nadia. <laughs> Nadia thinks I'm an old lady. She thinks I'm an auntie. I am an auntie, but she just... She just asked me if I know Ram Ramonte. Ramonte. BD Trail, little brother. Trey, little Trey, brother. Trey, little brother. Oh, my bad. I mean, maybe I don't know Sad him. <laughs> but we just came back from Whole Foods, and I didn't have my cheesecake sitting around for too long now. But we ain't got mini cheesecakes. I got the key lime pie. It looks messed up, but it's about the bus anyway. And it's a dollar fifty-seven. And then I got the raspberry, and I just like me and Mona be doing this when we do. We just want a little some sweet, but we don't want to like indulge too much and like buy something that's gonna be in the fridge longer than it needs to be you know like sometimes you just need a little moment you don't need the whole thing you know <laughs> like you know you can indulge without old in, you know yummy and the key lime and me and Nadia are gonna share this and she got these really yummy peanut butter cups too and this is the key lime those are little lime yeah she got these little peanut butter cups and then she also got orange chicken bun just hungry even though we just ate mad food egg pine and cream like od we about to watch something i don't know we was watching bojack horseman but i don't know if i'm i might be a little too slow for that show why because i'm like Trying to figure they out. Do talk about real shit. I'm not gonna. No, lie. that was real as fuck. That and that whole episode was they like. Do talk about a lot of real shit on that show. You gotta mm. be tapped in. Try the um. Yeah. Try the key okay, moment of truth. I was gonna get one. Then I was like, I don't need a whole like. I'm being mad greedy. I had mad stuff already. But I'm gonna try this. I love key lime pie. The raspberry. Mm. Perfect bite. Is this considered a perfect bite if I didn't really put nothing together? What does Pookie say? I don't know. Come on, you don't know what Pookie says? I know Pookie. You first. Oh, no, I don't watch him like that. Shout out to Prayog. Prayog? <coughs> Guilty. 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 That's bad. Yeah, I don't know. You. I feel like I you thought... Thought... <laughs> <laughs> what? That's mad she wouldn't listen good. to me. I'm like, girl, these are good. I'm telling you, like, nah, that's not okay. It's like, not like <laughs> we're gonna go back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's dead ass giving like little like Parisian bakery or something. Like it's, it's really so good. It's so light and like. Mm -hmm. Try this one. Ah, they did their biggest one with that. <laughs> what is this? Raspberry cheesecake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was trying to do like a little platter, you know. We could have each got like two or three. Why do you say that though? And then, but you were like, I don't want. You said you didn't now want. I got that moose, and I want to got something else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna watch something and uh, hang out. What are we gonna watch? Sister time! Twilight? Sister you time! Watch? You wanna watch Twilight? I started the second movie because I was like, I have seen the first movie the time a like million movie. times. So I started the second one on the plane. Oh shit! The top definitely flattened out. <laughs> <laughs> Not the chemicals. Not the chemicals. <laughs> <in my> <laughs> 
my buns now. That probably wasn't a good idea. <laughs> you sound like Kiki Palmer when she was like, a real nigga. <laughs> Ho. Whatever. She was yeah. like, she was like, what's your dream first date? <laughs> Sitting next to a real nigga. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, I did want to ask you this because I thought of this on the plane. <laughs> no, you about to scare me. What is that? Oh, <laughs> such a I dramatic forgot. ass pause. I forgot. Wait, our you friend... can't do stuff like that. Oh, <laughs> oh. Yo. Our favorite childhood games. So we played Charlie's Angel. Oh, I thought of this because I was watching the Shrek 2 movie where they oh, have wow. to save, I mean, stop Fiona from being with Prince Charming. Uh -huh. So we played Shrek a lot. We played the Charlie's Angels game a lot. And we You're talking Mario about the video games. Yeah. yeah. So which one was your favorite? I feel like the only one I ever really finished. We finished Shrek Mad Time. Yeah, we did finish Shrek Mad Time. What am I talking about? What was it? Mario Shrek, Kart, Mario Shrek Kart, Kart. Charlie's Angels. You know I had Mario Kart? Really? Did we play it the last time? No. Yeah, oh, I have what? a, I have a, a Switch. Oh. Uh, uh, what was it again? Sims. No. <laughs> Why can't it I be Sims? I mean like, cause that, I mean like on a console, like. Oh. Charlie's Sims Angels? Sims definitely the top. No. Shrek. Shrek Mine because is, you could play it as a group. And you could play different people each round. Mm-hmm. But I, we, I really you remember Charlie's Angels. Remember when we would be Angels. like, I'm gonna be Fiona. Yeah. And then. I'm gonna be the cookie mon I mean the cookie. Mm -hmm. Or I'm gonna be um Puss and Boots. Puss and Boots. That was elite. That was probably the most fun I had around my cousins. Was like when we played, when we played video games. When we played that's video what we games. did. What else was there to do? That was before they, internet like that. They was that's how they that's how they used to keep us like uh what occupied. Is it good? Mm, not really. Dang. Trader Joe's does it way better. Dang. Dang. She's a Trader Joe's stan. I'm a Trader Joe's stan. Me too, stan, though. Okay, I can give but she you knows good, way more. Not good. She I knows way more. Joe's. She used to work there, so she knows all the, the Trader Joe's hacks and the secrets. They literally brainwash us, though, you know? <laughs> when, they, when, they, when I got hired, they were like, okay, orientation, orientation day. And they put a they pillow in your arm? They sit in a room. In a small room with chairs. You didn't sign an NDA, did you? No, looking at a TV that just had mad Trader Joe's propaganda going. Like, it seemed like a <laughs> Not next, brainwash. 1960s like style cartoon. Like, this is why Trader Joe's is great. <laughs> that shit played like three times. We were like, and that's why you go in there and it's like, they're just so like making up dumbass conversation. Like, that's a great yellow shirt. You know, my grandma. She grew yellow daisies in her lawn, like just mad random shit. They, they was really me. brainwashing you. They weren't really brainwashing us. But you know what? It's for a good cause. Because why everybody at Trader Joe's is nice and don't have attitude. You, you know, know why? It's because you get paid well there. You get paid well and you get raises every six months. You mm. do a you do a biannual or what is it called? A biannual like, review? Yeah. Is that like what that twice, is? Like twice, twice a year? A year? Yeah, yeah, every six months. Yeah, so everybody gets paid. I got a raise. I got a seventy-five cent raise. So I went from seventeen fifty to eighteen twenty-five. And you also get health care if you don't already have it. And that got you like a gym membership if you wanted to go to Planet Fitness. Like they they treat their employees very well. So that's honestly why everybody's so happy go lucky there. Kombucha. You guys, I'm going to knock out. My belly is so full. I ate so good. I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's weekly vlog. If you did, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up down below. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and join in the tribe. We're so close to 150K. I love you guys so much. Don't forget, you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you, and I can't wait to see my next upload. Bye.